and the Uber, they obviously do those models very, very well. So the more I started looking to sharing economy, the more convinced I became that fashion had a real problem. I'm a millennial myself, I don't want to own things, I want to access them for a short period of time and then never see them again. To give you a bit of an idea about the fashion rental space, so Rent the Runway is a big player in this market, they're about to IPO based in the States, um, and I looked at that model really closely and thought, okay, how can I build a Rent the Runway level of business when my background and passion lies on the tech side, not the fashion side? Um, so I thought, okay, cool, if I spend a year in a basement of Shoreditch building a tech product from scratch that facilitates Michelle in London renting me her amazing Gucci jumpsuit, and I'm Sophie in Birmingham, and her doesn't have to touch the product, could we actually get that going? So that's exactly what we did. Um, so I co-founded the business three and a half years ago as a pure peer-to-peer -peer place so that Sophie and Michelle can connect and share wardrobes. That kind of early traction-wise started and worked really, really well for us. And then probably about 10 months before COVID hit, we started working with a lot of brands who, were, who thought, okay, this is interesting, this is cool. What about rental? Everyone's looking at resale. We know that this is a space that everyone wants to play in in the next couple of months and years. So we took our brand partners where I basically begged for fashion brands to give me some kind of excess stock and says to them, give me some stock and let me prove to you that I can rent it and I can not only recoup that wholesale cost when you're selling a garment to a big retailer at 30 pounds, I can make that back in a couple of rentals and then the additional 15 rentals of pure profit and everyone's gonna be happy. So I took those four brand partnerships, I mean, the Royal We, I have an incredible brand team uh, behind me who have done this on my behalf, um, but we've now powered fashion rental here in the UK for 85 leading fashion brands. So Bash, the big French retailer, Nanushka on the luxury end, Pinko, which is a great brand, and Vampire's Wife, for any females in this room, that is the cult brand, I'm sure everyone on this panel knows them. We cannot keep those dresses in our warehouses quick enough. So um, this is exactly what we're trying to do. We started as a pure peer-to-peer -peer play. We now facilitate fashion rental for 85 brands here in the UK and also are the exclusive uh, rental provider for Selfridges. So we launched their white label platform about four, four months ago. So when people tell me menswear won't, won't rent, um, I can absolutely assure you that menswear is the new hot market that is renting quite well. Um, so to touch upon this, um, firstly, I'm not a fashion business trying to be sustainable. I am a circular economy, a circular economy business that at our core is sustainable. We exist for one simple reason, and that is to extend the lifespan of our wardrobes and extend the lifespan of our community's wardrobes. So we're hitting this really nice market where there's a massive pressure from a kind of CEO, top level, exec level, that basically want know that, that circular and sustainability are not trends, they are movements and they are movements that are here to stay, but also don't have the kind of capabilities to do rentals. So if you if I take Selfridges as an example, Selfridges are great at buying, at merchandising and knowing what's hot. What I'm really good at is the three and a half years of the really unsexy stuff that goes behind rentals. So uh, the reverse logistics, the dry cleaning address in 20 minutes, the um, reusable packaging, I won't go on, the tech about when things go wrong, and biometric facial scanning recognition, all that kind of stuff. I spent the last three and a half years testing and learning to make sure that we could do it seamlessly on most occasions. Um, and on top of that kind of exec level of pressure, we've got this massive generation, and I'm sure everyone in this room knows this, but brands like Depop have done record numbers throughout lockdown. So we know, and the majority of our users are kind of Gen Zs and millennials, they are people that want to change the way they shop. They don't want to buy something for 500 pounds or 100 pounds, wear it once and then never wear it again. So I hope that we're tapping into something that is quite exciting in terms of the new gen of sustainable shopping. Cool, so to come on to kind of how our business works, um, I'm gonna try and eloquently explain this because it can be a bit complex, but there are three key parts of our business. One is the home marketplace, this is where my heart really lies, so this is the ability for Sophie in Birmingham to connect with Michelle in London and share clothes, it's completely hands off, we don't touch the product, and much like Airbnb, we facilitate the process. The second is her brand, so we now power fashion rental for 85 brands, as I mentioned. We don't own that stock, so we don't have that capex risk of buying stock, which is great, keeps my investors really happy, and means that when COVID does hit, um, we haven't got um, a warehouse with hundreds of millions of pounds worth of inventory. And the third kind of big pivot or evolution that I made last year was building out a SaaS product. So um, if you Google selfridgesrental.com, um, there is no sign of her, um, but we facilitate that whole entire experience on behalf of Selfridges and we give them an elevated customer experience. Um, if you're clever, there's a kind of small 
point to occur in the T's and C's, but the whole point is that it's a fully white label version, um, but we do everything for them, um, and that's a really exciting part of our business that is currently performing quite well. And this is my last slide. Um, you can see it's come out of, a, out of a pitch deck with my flywheel, but this is the part of my business that I'm most proud of. So everything we do drives the kind of brand awareness of her and makes her more powerful as a brand. So when we launch a collaboration with her times Vampire's Wife, her times Minutia, all of that is doing is feeding me as a CEO data insights of every hour of every second about what is hot, what is renting, what is not, um, who our customer is, what they're wish listing, what Michelle's wearing to her Christmas party, what Laura's wearing on New Year's Eve, I can tell you that on a massive scale, mm -hmm. um, which is, I think, the most exciting part of our business. So a lot of my time over the next couple of weeks and months is spent uh, persuading large retailers, department stores, and e-com players that rental and circular is the next big opportunity in this space. So it is an exciting time for us as a business. Thank you.